All right, get your clip, go into Fusion, get a polygon mask, and then get a merge node and plug the polygon mask into the merge node. Cool. Start masking. You can use five points if you want, but I think four points is good enough. Go frame by frame and cover the sword every frame. If you run into issues like this, where it doesn't fit, just take a guess, honestly, it doesn't matter. So you've done your keyframing. Add in a background node. That's the first icon over here. If you want a dark saber, you're done. But let's make it white for us. Cool. Okay, next up, add a Gaussian blur. Just add that in right below and give it a slight blur. Doesn't need to be much, just enough so that the core isn't razor sharp. Get, get it, get out. Got, I just. <sighs> We are going to add in two glow nodes. Okay, so with the first glow, we're just going to get a very strong core outline. So turn everything up just a tad and choose your color. If you have an issue with your glow covering up your core a little bit, just go to the mode over here and hit that to merge under. And then with our second glow, we're going to kind of expand on that a little bit. Just mess around with it till it looks kind of nice. Um, my settings are on screen, follow them if you want. Next, you want to add a soft glow. Now this is going to look very intense. Um, mess around with this until you think it looks nice. I'm doing whatever the hell I want to do. Don't forget to pick the colors on this one as well, as it's a little bit stronger. Next up, we're going to click on the polygon mask, go to the settings and enable motion blur. Turn the steps up to 10. We're going to select our merge node. And for our blending mode, we're going to choose screen. Just looks a tiny bit better. If your lightsaber travels behind something, just add another polygon mask into the merge node and invert it. And you can just keyframe it like you did the other thing and add a bit of a soft edge and bada bing. 